Welcome to It Is What It Is, a true crime podcast. I'm your host, Sean Marie. How the fuck are ya? That's how you know that this is a podcast, that if you don't like that word, that is not, this is not your podcast. This is not a podcast for you. Please stop listening as of right now and go and cry. Everybody else, hey. So, we were going to have an update episode on good old Lori and Chad. But for some reason, their court the other day was super fucking shady. And everything was just moved around. So, there's no update to give you. But then, I was at work, right? Talking to my these two old people I work with and believe me I'm not ageist or ageism ageism I don't know whatever it's called when you're like mean against old people I'm not that they literally acknowledge the fact that I am what they consider to be a baby one of them says that he has socks older than me I'm 30 so like, his grandkids are my age. <laughs> I don't really know. He listens to this, too. After showing him. But anywho. I was talking to them. And about the whole podcast thing. And they both were like, Oh, have you ever talked about this one that happened here in Rigby? And for everybody else in the world that's not from Idaho. Like, when I'm like, Oh, Idaho Falls is such a small town. Rigby, 10 times smaller. And they were talking about it. And they're like, well, she's the lady that was murdered was from Idaho Falls. The little shit bag, three little shit bags that did this are from Rigby. And I was like, no, I've never heard of it. Happened in 1995. So I was five at the time. Probably why I never heard of it. And I was like, no, never, ever heard of it. There's not a bunch on it just the news clippings and a whole list of other shenanigans that were going on at this point in time here in Idaho back in 1995 and for some reason I'm like in my head right I'm like oh Idaho's gotten so crazy lately Damn, son, in 95, I don't know if it was just because it was the 90s and everybody thought they was thugging, but shit was popping off. So, yeah, there was these three little teenagers from Rigby, Idaho, and they decided to slough school and go and rob us gas station I from what the paper makes it sound like like I said there's no documentary shows shit I didn't even find a news clipping everything I have have found is old newspapers and um the husband of the woman who was murdered sued Jefferson County well that's rapey and the parents and the school and everything else so I just read I've Everything I found, I just read. So, from what they make it sound like, these three, a uh, Christopher, a Benjamin, and a Thomas, all three of these little shits were all ditching school. It goes 15, 15, and 16. And they went and robbed a gas station out like a very small itty bitty little gas station and they shot and killed this poor woman who was her back was turned and I'm gonna try to say her name but oh it's so hard and even the people at work were like oh I know it starts with like her last name starts with the T her oh it's really hard okay so Fladell Fidelia. I'm going to go with Fidelia. Tomhawk. Fidelia Tomhawk. That's what I'm going to... That's... I'm going with that. 
If that's wrong, I am so sorry. I am not trying to be disrespectful by getting your name wrong without having to hear, without having the opportunity to hear someone say the name. If I said it wrong, that's my bad. So she was only 41 years old. It was in Grant. Thank you. I just read that. It was in Grant. So a little, little Grant store. They stole $200, some cigarettes, and $25 in, I mean, 25 gallons in gasoline. And then they ran to Nevada, got caught in, in Utah, and sent back. Two of them, from what I understand, took the deal, took a deal, and pled guilty. The other one took it all the way to trial, which she was then found guilty of, like, an even worse charge than they were found guilty of. And he was, like, the getaway driver. <clears throat> Just so you know, if you were in a party of three and y'all go kill somebody, and the other two took a deal or snitched on you, throw your hands up, brah. Going to trial is not gonna pay out in your benefit. Like, it's just not. I have never seen it work that way. If there is a case that that's happened, please let me know. Because I just really want to know. So, I guess the reason why they sued the jail to... I mean, not the jail. The um, school. Thank you. School. Is because these kids were supposed to be in school at the time. And they weren't. And yes, I chuckled because you can't blame the school for these three not going that day. And they and then they sued the parents. It's also not the parents' fault. Like this, I from what I understand, the husband and the daughter of her. I, gosh, I really wish I would have know if that's right or not because I want to say her name again but I don't want to screw it up because people out there like to say you're a horrible person when you get a name wrong and I just don't want that to happen this sweet woman this very sweet woman she was just stocking the shelves at the store she owned it her and her husband she was obviously a mother and so I just wish there was more on her, really, and, like, what happened. I I posted on Facebook about this and was like, hey, does anybody remember this? And legitly didn't get anything back, and that's unheard of. So normally somebody says something, but I got nothing at all. If you guys can hear that, it's my puppy. He's having a bad dream. <laughs> So, while I was reading this, though, right, they're like, the community is still getting over all the other stuff that just happened. And so I'm like, well, what just happened? Tell me. And there was a murder-suicide that happened. A mom shot both of her sons and his friend, who was one of her son's friend that, that was bringing over, like, Christmas presents or something. So I was like, what? So, like, that happened. And I don't want to say her name because a murder-suicide, obviously, is very sad. And from what I understand from that one is the husband, father... Or whatever was telling people that like something he knew something bad was going to happen. And it was one of those cases where nobody wanted to believe that something bad was actually happening. So I don't, that's just crazy. And then I was reading through another story that was talking with this had to do with the same three age the three teenagers or whatever three teenagers the three teenagers these guys and it was like there's a shooting there's 
all sorts of craziness happening. I kind of don't want to tell you because I want to go and research them because I've never heard of them before. And one of the crazy things that's happened here recently is there was this kid I went to school with. His name was Taylor. And he was much shorter than I. I am 5'5". Five 5'6", five. Five if you use a tape measure and you want to be precise. 5'6", I mean. <laughs> anyway, so he was shorter than me. We were dear friends through junior high and elementary. He was murdered here recently. And from what I understand, shot in the face by this man. And he, this guy's not going to get in trouble and they're calling it self-defense. I don't know a whole bunch about this yet because it's still very new. So I, I do have people who are like, oh, I, I'll tell you all that happened. But I don't know. So like you have his killing, right? Killing. Straight murder. The guy that he was in an altercation with, I guess, is like a ton bigger than him. Like, and I don't want to get in trouble by saying like short, but he was. He wrestled for my father. And like, dear friend, dear friend of my family, like he stayed at our home. My mother loved him. Like he... He did some things as he got older that I'm not good with. But he was a solid friend as a child and growing up. He was a solid friend. Solid guy. And to think... And, like, he was strong. So I'm not saying that he could not have pulled someone bigger than him out of a vehicle. I'm not saying that that's impossible. I mean, like, I just, I don't see it happening from what, like, from what everybody's saying so far. And take this with, like, a grain of salt. But, like, so far everybody's saying that he's at home enjoying his day with his girlfriend or whatever. This guy is, like, stalking them, antagonizing them. Gets him to, like, leave the home. Then there's some type of car chase. And then there's, like, a stopping of the car. And from what this guy says, according to the newspaper, the guy I know pulls him out of the car and, like, beats him up and all this stuff. And... I don't know. And then like I was reading the comments and someone in the comments was like, well, how does this guy get shot in the face? And like, if that's the case and that's, that's where his injury was, like I said, there has not been an actual, the newspaper didn't say. So I'm going off of, and this was a family member who said this. So I'm going off of what this family member said. So if that was the case and that's where his injury was, I just, I doubt that this other person's story is the way it went down. And it happened in the wee hours of the morning. And it's just very tragic. No one deserves to die without getting justice. And this is in the same time frame as the other one, the other shooting that happened, that the guy was shot in his own backyard. And so far, they've released that officer's name, but they haven't released much, except for, yeah, we're going to look into it. And then at the same time, and then you go up to Blackfoot, there was another shooting in Blackfoot. You go to Pocatello, another one. And this is all, like, we're all within, an, more, no, Twin Falls is two hours away, so no more than two hours away from where I'm at. And this is all happening, like, bam, 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 bam. And it's just insane. And it turns out, the more I look into Idaho crimes and everything else, they used to just sweep this shit under their rug. Like, it's always happened. It's always happened. And I know, like, some people are like, oh, girl, why deal with shootings every day? 
here that was not publicized and like I grew up with a rough and tough crowd so like I know that the I know there's an underbelly to the town right so like I know but not shootings and whatnot like ugh. I can't even cannot even Oh, and we are also going to cover the Netflix, um, the killing against, uh, uh, with Mormons or whatever, amongst Mormons. Oh, I'm totally going to tell you guys about that one. I just have a couple more questions for my Mormon friend that I got to check with before I go talking shit. The damn Mormons. I have nothing against him. I dated a guy that's super, like, his family is super, super religious. He's not. But his mom is. And she's, like, the sweetest angel you'll ever find on the planet Earth. Sweetest lady ever. So I was like, okay, I need to ask some people before I offend some people. Because I definitely don't want to offend her out of everybody in the, in the planet. I definitely don't. So, another thing. And then... I don't know, maybe I'll ramble on for like a second longer, but because I want to tell you guys about this new podcast that I found because it was super freaking funny. But anyway, before we go there, after the last episode we just did, in that episode, I said retarded. Now, I did not call a person retarded. I said that something that was said, I thought it was retarded because it was said. Now, I understand that some people take offense to that word when it's used in a negative way. Like, towards a person. I would never call a person that word. My niece is highly autistic. I love her to pieces, okay? Near and dear to my family. I would never use that word towards a person but I have no quarrels I don't think it's wrong at all to say that is what I thought something was something not someone something so get up off your damn high horse and let it go another thing I guess we can just address some stuff Real quick, I've had this, these people messaging me and they're like, I can solve these murders and I can tell you all this dirty, dirty secret, right? Which is cool. But then don't tell me like, you can't record what we talk about. I want to tell you all this information, but you can't record it. You can't tell the cops and you can't do anything with the information. But let me tell you. And I live 45 minutes away. Do you wanna? No. I don't. For one, if you can solve decade-old crimes with children involved, I am no... I'm, I'm not gonna solve it. I'm not going to go investigate. You know what I mean? There's people who get paid for that. So if you have information that can give a family closure and answers, don't go to a podcast and be like, hey, do you guys want to? Be a decent human being and go do it yourself, good sir. So no, I will not respond to your emails because... It's, no, not my thing. If you want to go and tell you, tell the police the information you have and let me record you 
and then we can have a discussion by all means bro any day of the week any day but no not some shady like come meet me and like just talk to me and meet up with me and let me just fill your ears with a whole bunch of vomit from my mouth no i definitely don't want to do that i definitely don't so about this podcast it's a local podcast out of idaho falls it's a jeff and craig greg craig greg fuck I said I wanted to be on their show, and now I can't even remember their damn names. Jeff and Greg. Yeah. I'm going to go with that. That sounds right. <laughs> I don't fucking know. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> damn it. That is what it is, I think. I don't know. It's super funny. They had me laughing the other day. Because... I went and got my mole cut off my face. Yeah. And I had them in my ear the whole time. And it was very smooth, bro. Like, they kept me laughing. Just laughing. Hilarious. The one guy sounds like Joe Rogan. So I was like, oh, snap. You got like, I don't know. It was kind of like Theo Vaughn feeling in a little way. Like, they just don't give a fuck. And they are just hilarious. And you can obviously tell that, like, they don't. They were talking about fat chicks and all sorts of stuff. And I was like, oh my god, if you even mention that on one of these platforms, people tear you apart can't say fat chicks you just have to say they like food and they're not fat they're lovable i guess unless you're me so i don't know like i just i don't know the podcast was hilarious and then i was like hey i want to be on your podcast and then i've asked him for like a bunch of inform like tips and advice because i didn't know about them until recently really funny though but yeah, so I'm just rambling on because I just wanted to release an episode really, really bad. And I'll tell you guys about the one in, that little one in Rigby because I've never, ever, ever, ever heard about that one. And that's just tragic. Poor lady's just shocking, stuck in her shelf and gets murdered by three teenagers. And then they want to blame TV. I don't know. I hate when people blame stuff like that on TV or marijuana or stuff like that. It just drives me nuts. And one of the articles I read was like, maybe it's because TV was invented in Rigby. <clears throat> Which is true. What the fuck does that have to do with it? And then it was like, they did it on a dare. What kind of dare is that? Who dares somebody to do that? I don't know. I really want to know more about it. <clears throat> I really, really do. I don't know <clears throat> how I'm going to find out more. I'm going to try my hardest. Because even the newspapers that I'm reading are from Spokane. Like, I haven't found... Maybe I can go to the public library. Mm, that's what I'll do. Go to the public library. Mm-hmm. Anywho. Um... I promise you're going to have a decent episode this week. This is probably not it. This is probably not it. This one probably sucks. I just really wanted to do it because I miss you guys. Oh yeah, and another thing. Shouldn't it be against the law for regular cars to have the taillights of like cops? You guys mess up a lot of space cruises for a lot of people in legal states that can do that definitely not here because you're not allowed to do that here so definitely not here but from what i've heard i know this person who wanted to go on a space cruise and if no one knows what that is that's when you drive around and smoke the devil's lettuce in a vehicle kind of like drinking and driving anywho this person that i know but i don't know 
wanted to do that activity. But she couldn't. Because it was nighttime. And she couldn't tell if the car in front of her was an officer of the law or not. <clears throat> because she thought that it would be weird if someone saw her use a lighter in her car. But she doesn't smoke. Thinking that everybody knew around her that she didn't smoke. Just saying. Food for thought. Change your damn tail lights. That person that I've heard this from would appreciate. You know? Her story touched me very deeply when she said it. So. Obviously you guys can tell I'm on one. I don't want to go back to work. And I like talking to you guys more. Even though right now it's just talking to my dog. But whatever you guys get it you guys get it so I'm gonna tell you guys a different story on a different day this week have a good Wednesday <laughs> I know I've probably lost all of you lost it and please keep in mind my brother is still missing his name is Nikos Tessman he is 5'11". He has a tattoo across his back that says ghost. He has dirty blonde hair. He's kind of getting balder actually. So look for like a bald spot. He likes to skateboard around and ride the bus around California, around the Oakland area kind of. Um, he was last seen and liked going to Washington Park in Alameda. Alameda, California. He has not talked to his mother or reached her or done anything since February of 2020. We were involved in asking help from the Oakland Police Department and that has not gone anywhere. So we have turned to the Sheriff Lumpkin here in Idaho and she has taken over this and the number for her is 208-879-2232 if you have any information you can also contact her on Facebook it's Sheriff Lumpkin and once again his name is Nikos Tessman from the California area his mother lives in Clayton Idaho and we would just love to get any information anybody has out there and just keep his name out there so if you've seen him heard of him anything like that please let me know and we truly truly appreciate everybody sharing it and praying for his safe return thank you